to the evening of the opening of the Museum of Liberty Island. You will see there's a mural as you enter the museum. And I asked a friend of mine, An Duong, to sculpt these bronze stars. And I sold each star for $2 million. My mother, who was a prisoner during the war, she was in Auschwitz for 14 months, 13 months, she survived. And when she survived, she used to say, God saved me so that I can give you life. By giving you life, you gave me my life back. You are my torch of freedom. Here's the story. We needed someone to chair. I thought, we're raising money to build a museum about a woman. So it should be a woman. And it should be an immigrant. And it should be someone that had found the American dream. Now tell me who else but Diane von Furstenberg. And I met her at a museum in Antwerp, an opening. And I came back and asked her if she would see me, and she did. And I thought, well, this will be an easy sell. It wasn't. She didn't say yes. She gave me her book, and I read the book and found where her mother talked to about her as her torch of freedom and Diane's uh, voyage to America, where she chose to come by ship when she really could come, come easily by plane. But she wanted to experience what an immigrant experienced. And arrived in New York, saw the Statue of Liberty, and the rest is history. There she is. You know how many times, how many times I've taken pictures of her? And you can't resist, you know, she's just there. The museum helps educate people from all over the world. Here's to you, Liberty Museum. Oh. Oh. You have nothing but the deepest respect and admiration for what you've been able to accomplish. I'm very, very excited. I feel so honored that I'm part of this project. My first inspiration was um, the crown of the Statue of Liberty. And I wanted it to be something, a star that was relating to the crown, something that was feminine and also very close to the American flag. Statue of Liberty Museum. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure to thank her for her fundraising prowess and present to you the latest edition of the legend of the Statue of Liberty, Diane von Christen. I was a little girl living in Belgium when I saw the Statue of Liberty for the first time. It was on a postcard that my parents sent me from a trip to America. I immediately associated the statue with happiness and adventure. My own desire to visit America started then. There she was, welcoming me to a new horizon and to a new beginning. I had just married I was expecting my first child, and I was starting a new life in America. And like millions before me, just the sight of her meant that my dream of building a life in America had come true. Becoming 
the godmother of the statue, which is a title that I insisted upon, <laughs> has been the privilege of a lifetime, and he's taken me on the most fascinating adventure. Through Frederic Auguste Bartholdi, the ambitious sculptor whose dream it was to build the largest statue in the world, I discovered the true meaning of what they set out to do, celebrate freedom and democracy. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is the manifestation of that dream. When she arrived in America, thanks to Joseph Pulitzer's idea, it was the people of America who raised the money for the pedestal. It was always the people who made it happen. And that is true again tonight. It turns out that her magic torch is also a magic wand. She is the American dream. The whole journey is, I can't believe we did it all. Right. When you see New York like this, it's beautiful, right? It's like Venice.